Speaking of beautiful people, okay, so um, it's Amanda here, and I have a beautiful tumbler. Um, I wanted to show you guys this. It's adorable. Um, I got mine. If you live in my town, I'm not going to name my town. I have to kind of, I have people who go to my church that watch these videos. I think most of the people that watch these videos are people from my church, so hi guys. Um, but I got to kind of skirt around the actual name of my town because there are people that are weird and yeah, like the wallet thing in my very first video, I just don't want to like blurt out a lot of personal information. But if you live in my town and you know where I live, this is from the monogrammed store um, in the town, in by the cafe. You guys will know where that is. Um, it's, yeah, like you guys, the monogram store by the cafe. Is that too specific, Cody? I didn't think so. But if you don't live in my town or you don't know where I live and you go to my church and you still don't know where I live, um, then you can get these on, I think, um, glitzyglam.com is a store owned by Elle and Blair Fowler. Uh, there are two other YouTube gurus here on YouTube. Um, if I remember to do it, I will link them in the description bar. You guys should go check them out. They're way more advanced than me. They have a lot more products and they're just, they're amazing. They're the ones that I originally started watching here on YouTube and just became obsessed with their videos. I've followed them since the beginning. It's just amazing. They're wonderful people. Um, and they're very girly, so if you're really into, like, girly girl stuff, like tumblers, then check them out. But uh, glitzyglam.com is their website. Um, I'm not sponsored or anything like that. God, no. Um, I just think that they're amazing. So, um, if you can't find these anywhere else, check out their store. They have, like, a ton. It's like a monogrammed online store. Um, they have everything from these mini emergency kits that have, like, they're not really emergency kits. They've got, like, double-sided tape, um nail polish remover, q-tips, things like that. They're like girly girl emergency kits. Um, they've got tumblers, jewelry, just a bunch of amazing stuff. Go check them out. It's awesome. Um, but really, let's get to the point of this video. Um, so, I'm going to get on cue here. Um, so, I actually went to Walmart yesterday with Cody and one of our other friends. And um, I picked up two products, or three products that I forgot one of them, so technically two products, uh, that I wanted to review for you guys today because I've had a whole day to use one of them and the other one I'm really familiar with because it's a repurchase. So yeah, um, we'll start out with the repurchase so that you guys can um, really get another feel for a little bit more about who I am. Um, so this is a foundation. This was the very first foundation that I ever used quite a few years ago. Um, because I've been struggling with acne since I was like 12 um, and I still I still have acne a lot of it is scarring I scarred really bad because I had cystic acne um, so I wasn't able to put anything that had oil or anything on my face which is really horrible when you're somebody like me who loves makeup so um, for anybody that has acne and really can't introduce any new oils to your skin I recommend the CoverGirl clean oil control line they're amazing. Again, not sponsored to say this or anything. It's just they're such an amazing line. Um, I never ever broke out from this foundation. I never had any problems with, you know, too much oil or anything on my face. You know, a lot of foundations you have to blot a lot because, you know, they, they don't, they have a lot of oil in them. Um, and I found um, a lot of people thought that the ones that don't have oil will dry out your skin. Um, I've never had any problems or any adverse effects at all from this foundation. Um, it's incredibly blendable, um, so if you're worried about like blending it into your neck and stuff, that's not a big deal. It's very blendable. Um, I think my only problem I've ever had, I have two problems with this. One, it does not come with a pump. I love foundations that have like the pumps that I can get it on the back of my hand. It's just easier to do it with like a stippling brush and stuff, so I would recommend um, getting a disposable pump or something to put on this that will fit it. Uh, I think you can get those at um, Sally's, Beauty Supply, and stuff like that. Uh, and the other thing I don't really, really like about it, but that's really easy to fix, is that it's not exactly the perfect coverage, which, if you have acne, is something you need. Um, if you find that you need a little bit extra coverage, either get a concealer. They do have a concealer that's oil-free as well. They have an entire line of this stuff. Um, again, it's the CoverGirl Clean line. It's also one of the cheapest foundations. Um, oh, that you can get at a drugstore. I think this one was like $5 at Walmart. But um, you can either get a concealer 
or you can this hair is about to drive me crazy Urgh. um a concealer or you can just double up on the, the layers of foundation just um, get some on your finger um, after you've applied your foundation and just dot it and blend it in um, around the areas that you need a little bit of extra coverage under your eyes things like that and um, that should take care of it it does for me I think the only area I'm having problems with today is this area I'm actually wearing this foundation right now now I used to be I think in classic ivory I used to be really pale and now I'm in warm beige which is number 545 um, I've tanned a lot this summer. I tanned in tanning beds a lot during the beginning of the summer. Um, and I, I had my first experience with a tanning bed probably, I think it was like a week before my wedding, two weeks before my wedding, because I was wanting to be a little bit more tanned for the wedding, um, so that I looked more tan in the white dress. And then I just kind of got a little bit addicted. I got, um, I started going with my friend Trisha and we just went all the time. It was amazing. I love tanning beds. They're just awesome. Although I do know the cancer risk. Please don't talk me about that I'm aware okay you're gonna hit deaf ears over here um so yeah again if you have acne or something I don't know how I got on that topic tanning whatever um if you have problems with acne or you know you just really want to switch up foundations and you're worried about oil control try this foundation they have it on a lot of colors so it's really easy to you know match your skin tone um again very blendable so if you do get a shade that's a little bit too light or a little bit too dark um, it's going to be really easy to blend into your neck and stuff like that. It's Again, they have a huge range of colors, so um, I would recommend finding a place that has testers. I believe Walmart is starting to carry testers in a lot of their brands. I didn't check to see if they had testers for these. I think they did. So again, just try this out. It's amazing. So um, they also have this same foundation, just not in the clean. It's, it doesn't have the oil control. So, you know, it's whatever you're worried about. If you have dry skin, oily skin, whatever. So first product, this highly recommended, wonderful stuff, cheap, amazing. Um, and then the second product is a new product that I'm trying out. I've wanted to try this out for a while. I just hadn't really wanted to, you know, bite the bullet and like I hadn't found one I was crazy about. Um, Walmart, um, if you guys shop at Walmart a lot, you probably know that they started carrying hard candy makeup. Um, I think a little while ago, I think hard candy like reinvented themselves. They used to be... Um, I guess you could compare them to something like uh, more of a high-end brand like Urban Decay or um, what's another one? I'm not wearing my wedding band. Oh no! Um, I think I was doing the dishes earlier and I forgot my wedding band in the kitchen. Oh no! Um, but for anybody that knows me, they know I'm married, so it's not a big deal, I guess. Uh, Cody just like glances over here like, where's your wedding ring, Amanda? Um, I love you! I love you too. I'm not a traitor. <laughs> I haven't left the house all day. Anyway, back on topic. Um, but I think they like reinvented themselves and now they just sell a Walmart. I checked out their online um, shopping to check out some other stuff on myself when I was like, I was in the makeup aisle at Walmart like checking out YouTube videos, so, like recommendations for it and everything to see if like anybody had any problems with it. So um, I was checking out their online store and it says like to buy at Walmart, to buy at Walmart, to buy at Walmart. And I was like, oh, I guess they just sell at Walmart now. Um, and so it was amazing. I found this stuff. It is the Hard Candy Blush Crush Baked Blush in 125 Living Doll. I don't know why they feel the need to make everything rhyme because it just makes it harder on people like me. Um, but it looks like this. It has a silver top that's clear and then a white base. Um, I like that the case is very, it almost feels a little bit high end because it's sturdy, but it's not like trying to like claw it open. It's very easy to open and it's just, it feels like it's not a cheap brand, which it's not exactly the most cheap cheap blush at Walmart. Um, I think it usually runs about $10, $12. I think this one was on rollback. I got it for like $7, so I don't know. It wasn't on clearance, but it was on rollback or something, so I don't know. Um, because Walmart's amazing. Um, but they look like this. They're domed. I think that's because of the baking process or something. Who knows? Uh, but it, it's pretty, pretty pink. It's a very pretty pink um, with gold veins in it. Um, and I'll do a swatch for you guys so that you can see. But it's that pink. Wow, I probably didn't need to do that big of a swatch. Um, but yeah, it's just very pretty. Um, it's not glittery. It doesn't have like globs of glitter in it, but it does have a fair amount of shimmer to it. Um, so if you really want to stay with just matte stuff, I would I would probably stay away from this. Um, but I have it on right now. I don't know if you can tell. It's just more of an undertone um, because I didn't apply it really bright. 
but the back says um, apply dry for a soft and dramatic or del soft and delicate look use wet for intense dramatic color um, I didn't apply it wet because I'm scared to really do a dramatic color I would imagine um, you know I just I don't know I'm scared to use it wet I just I'm not really into the dramatic thing um, but I just apply it with this brush um, I need to clean it um, but this is just a brush I got at Walmart that's really soft and very powdery right now. Um, but yeah, so you would just take this. I broke it! I was just raving about how awesome this packaging was and then it broke it did. So you see firsthand. Will you pick it up? <laughs> Thank you. I'm not editing this part. <laughs> yes, you are. Oh, please delete this part out of the video. Thanks! Where did there's a metal piece that's supposed to be in there and it's gone? They gypped me a metal piece. I'm so mad right now, guys. Like, this is the sturdiest case of a blush that I've ever had and it breaks. I never have blush break. I'm gonna be angry now. I'm gonna find that little metal piece and, like, be mad at it. Um, but anyway, there's like supposed to be a little metal piece there, and they gypped me it. It's, there's no metal piece. Um, I think I dropped it. I broke it. Okay, guys, I'm horrible. But it, it is sturdy. Don't, don't take any clues from that. Um, but yeah, I just, I recommend this blush to anybody that's really wanting to go up into like the more delicate, like pretty popping pinks. Um, but they're not wanting to go like it says on the back, dramatic. Um, I recommend just applying this with like, a powder brush and just going light um, make sure you tap your brush and you know it's just this is a really pretty delicate pink when applied correctly um, and for the money I think it's good quality I've worn it today and um, I wore it a little bit yesterday it's it's just a pretty color I'm not usually a very bright colored person like I don't like to wear a lot of bright colors but um, this one is definitely one that I will probably be repurchasing they have two other shades um, that are both lighter. Um, one is Honeymoon and the other is Pin Up. Um, I think Honeymoon is the lightest. No, Pin Up is the lightest because I think Honeymoon is more of a beige color. I didn't really, really want to try those out because I always stay with really safe light colors. So like the pretty like peach colors. Um, so I really, if I was going to spend the money, I was going to like, I was going to try something new. So um, I got this. And it's just amazing. This is such an amazing color. So I recommend anybody go try this out. Again, it's available at Walmart for I think $10 to $12. I'm bad with money. I don't remember the prices. I just spend money. I'm just kidding. I don't actually spend a lot of money. I'm glad he didn't hear me say that. Because, you know, that would be bad. Um, but anyway, guys, thank you for dealing with my randomness today. I'm kind of tired and I need to go to bed. So, uh, and, um... Yeah, so I'll see you guys later, and subscribe for more awesome stuff coming up, and uh, as always, stay awesome.